hello friends and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see about elastic and plastic deformation so before jumping into this video uh, we need to understand about the material properties so if you have uh, not watched this material properties video i am linking that video here please watch and come back to this video So what is elastic and plastic deformation? So that plays an important role in FEA analysis. So we will start with the example. Let's take example of a spring. So here if you see this is the spring which is attached to the top and the force is applied at the bottom. So what will happen when we apply the force? This spring will try to deform in the direction of a force. So this is the force trying to pull that spring in downward direction. So what is the change in the length that is called as a deformation. So is it elastic or plastic? So it's elastic. Why? If we remove this force, whatever the force we applied, if we remove that force after the application, that spring will try to regain its original position and it will come back to its original position and size and shape so the deformation has been vanished so that is called as a elastic deformation so once we apply the force it will deform and once we remove this applied force that will come back to its original position why this is happens because of internal resistance so when we apply the force there will be a internal resistance offered by the body to certain extent that's the reason when we remove this force that internal resistance will create a uh, uh, exactly opposite force which will try to make this spring back to its original position now what is the plastic deformation for example if i make a small ball of a mud and i will throw it on the wall what will happen that ball shape round shape will be having different shape when it hits on the wall so that is kind of a plastic deformation so this is the vague example so this will happen in uh, all of the material when we apply lot of force on that body and elastic deformation is also experienced by all the materials but it is depends upon the uh, type of force so it will behave up to a small force region and after that it will try to behave in the plastic in the nature so based on these deformations elastic and the plastic there is a hooke's law derived so we will see about the hooke's law in the next video thank you